Hey, what's going on with it, bros? I'm growing the Pegasus, the one, the only. Nintendo for 2011, aka Criticism Guy 2009, and Nintendo and my guy 360. So, yeah, before I begin, real quick, <clears throat> got some plain old water once again, not to name. And, uh, yeah, real quick, this is probably just going to be another little um, conspiracy theory, creepy pasta, um, what's it called, video. So, um, if you're not interested in that, which I'm really not interested in that shit, but you know what? I'm going to start doing just the theory parts of them. I'm not really going to do the creepy pasta shit part for it, but you know what? might have to for this case so yeah basically what it comes down to if, especially if you're a brony fan like myself you probably might, might want to see you might not want to see unless you're really interested like i was about two days ago when i found out about this shit but you know what this is what it is on there even though i said like two four months i found out about it that was for a different thing so yeah without further ado let's begin i got two of them for you actually so um it's the same thing i'm lpfi i'm my old tony purchase magic a lot of you probably people have probably heard about this about a year or two ago which I was only a brony for about a year and a half so far, so uh, congrats to me on that. A <laughs> uh, year and five months, almost six, next month in July. So um, I'm still a fan of the show regardless. I don't give a shit what people say. So yeah, basically, let's start with the first one with Fluttershy. This is, I'm going to do the female version first because this is a creepypasta. So don't, don't take this literally or nothing. This is probably fake as fuck. This probably had nothing to do with their shit, even though their similarities are the same. It's something to scare the shit out of us so you get like billions of fucking views like I said. You know what? I'm not trying to get a billion views. I'm just trying to speak some shit. That's all. You know? I'm just trying to like um, reiterate you guys what I'm talking about. So yeah, the first one off, the inspiration, they said supposedly. When I say supposedly, I mean that supposedly probably most likely didn't happen. They just did it for shits and goes. You can tell in the background it's like one of them's kind of chuckling and laughing a little bit. So you know this thing is a fucking joke. So I'm just going to say it anyway. The first one, the inspiration I was supposed to be for Fluttershy, was supposed to be, um, what's it called? First one was, probably could be wrong, and this is um, supposed to be um, Samantha Gale. So I think that's what her name is supposed to be. And they say she died because of, what's it called? Um, what's it called? Because her, her mom and her dad wouldn't let her keep the animals and shit like that. She liked to take care of them all the time. And I thought that was weird as fuck because, you know, yeah, she's a caretaker in the show, but like in real life, they said like um, she committed suicide and hung herself, or I think they, she slit her wrist or whatever. And then in the guy version, which I'm going to get to later on, but what's it called? It's a little bit redundant. It's so the second one off is, um, what's it called? That's the end of her. For like, um, the one that did, um, <clears throat> there was an inspiration supposedly for Rarity. It's supposed to be like um, Janice Walters. I think that's what her name is supposed to be in um Said she was like from North Carolina or something like that. And um, what's it called? They said that um, <clears throat> he she had a little inspiration for fashion and arts and like fashion designing and all that. You know, dressing like Fashion Week, etc., etc., etc. She wanted to go to Paris one day and shit like that because she wanted to be like a fashionista, a diva chick or whatever. So obviously this inspiration supposed to be for rarity or something like that. And what's it called? Um, one day her parents got into an argument supposedly and then like she snapped her neck in the impact of this car crash when she was getting sent to school and etc 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 shit happens there she dies instantly blah 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 next one up third one up is supposed to be um an inspiration for rainbow dash which i know i know you're watching out there so i'm not trying to offend you or nothing this is just what the theory the story says okay let's just clear that up real quick and anyone else that's a fan of rainbow dash out there her name is supposed to be Alexandra Matthews. She was a really sporty girl. She liked doing track, kind of a tomboy shit. You know, kind of like the same way in real life and shit like that. Supposedly, I'm saying literally, I'm just saying supposedly. Well, what's it called? Um, and it said somewhere in the creepypasta or whatever that, um, what's it called? Um, she tried really hard to impress her parents because I think they had a new baby, so she wanted to show off more of her skills. She started taking steroids and all these, like, crazy antidepressants that make her stronger and crazier. And better at football and basketball and every other sport you can out there in the match, which I really don't give a shit about sports that much unless it's either A, it's boxing, or B, it could be bowling and MMA, martial arts, or maybe baseball, and that's probably it. Other than that, I really don't give a shit about the rest of them. And maybe a little soccer, too. But other than that, you know, um, she took, she overdosed too much one day on, like, some steroids or whatever in a football practice game or whatever. Not in the football, I think it was, like, a soccer game, and it says she got to a heart, atta heart attack, she had like a heart condition, she died there in the impact of the field, and that's it. That was the inspiration for RD, this Rainbow Dash. And then the last three, um, supposedly, like I keep saying supposedly, because 
probably didn't happen. And if it did happen, it probably didn't have nothing to relate to it. Number four is supposed to be Jamie Sanders. This is the inspiration for Applejack, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty much right on it. And basically, she she came from this family where like um, they were they were like really dirt poor and they were from the countryside. Hence her little southern accent and shit like that. And what's it called? After that, what happens is that um, they run out of luck and then they try to like she does all these odd jobs and everything like that. And then one day like. I think her grandma kills herself or something like that because she can't take these 40, 50 kids that she's watching or whatever. And it's up to Applejack and then that Big Mac dude. The people are supposed to, supposedly the ones in real life. Which I didn't say the dude's name for Big Mac in real life, but it's probably some fake guy shit like John or Jacob or I don't know. Well, Danny or I don't know. Etc. I don't know what the fuck. Um, after that, um, after a while, she gets tired of her shit. She ends up killing herself and hanging herself, committing suicide or whatever, whatnot. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of that for Applejack. And then the last two, which I'm going to save for, like, the end, is Twilight Sparkle. She was supposed to be a real huge genius. Her name was real life, supposedly. Don't take this literally. Like, I keep saying, I have to keep bringing that up just in case you guys forget. You know? Her name was supposed to be Cynthia Little. And they said, like, what's it called? Um, she was a super genius. She was, a, like, a really gifted student that she was really fucking smart and intelligent, like Twilight Sparkle. It's supposed to be from MLP. And then after that, like, her parents wanted to push her to do better and shit like that. She just got so stressed the fuck out. She just ended up hanging herself when the exams were all done. She just killed herself. And she never got that um, acceptance to that school to get to. That supposedly will happen. Don't get me wrong on that shit. Let me show you these two other pictures before I keep going. This one was another one that's supposed to be from, like, um, Pink Amina Diane Pie, that crazy psycho episode or whatever, and what's it called? Um, the person that was supposed to be based on that, their name was supposed to be Katherine Jackson or something like that. And basically, um, <clears throat> what it came down to that is that, like, supposedly, like guys keep saying, supposedly, um, if you get tired of that, I'm sorry, I'm not going to stop, alright? Yeah, so basically, um, she was on a lot of antidepressants. She was a foster kid. She got moved from home to home, and a lot of families didn't want her. They didn't want nothing to do jack shit to her. They just wanted the financial part to get in, get out, and get the fuck out of the house kind of thing or whatever. That type of scenario. And then after that, supposedly what happened was is that on um, what's it called? Um, when she was around 17, 18, she used to get mocked by a lot of her classmates. They thought she was, like, very annoying, irritating, and just overwhelmed, just super fucking, like, crazy as shit, psychopath bitch, and in my opinion, that's fucked up, you know, if it was for real, I'm saying, but it probably wasn't, but like I always say on that shit, um, one more other, two more things I'm gonna point out after this, when I'm done with this video, you'll see, and then after that, what happens is, is that, um, she takes a lot of these extra antidepressants, like all these Ritalin and freaking Prozac or whatever, what have you, she just goes, loses her mind completely, and her brain vessels start bursting out of her fucking head, and then what else? I think she gets her skull cracked and she gets sent to psychopathic insane asylum. That's pretty much fucked up. And at the end, like, she, she like, the voices from the child were telling her to jump and seeing things that weren't there. And she jumped off of the roof off the insane asylum and she ended up dying on impact. Lab as a bug. And then after that, that's it. Oh, and, um, it is fucked up. But you know what? Even though it's one of my second favorite ponies, that's a derpy. I didn't do nothing for her. But, oh, well. Could have been the same scenario, nevertheless. And, uh, yeah, besides all that, let me get to the male part now. The male part, and then she was supposed to, be, supposed to be a Pegasus pony or something like that. And, um, speaking of which, real quick, let me show you that website real quick where she was supposed to be a Pegasus pony or something like that. We'll see. And that was supposed to be the one right there. <laughs> I don't know if it'll go to it. Let me just show it to you really fast, though. That was supposed to be the Pegasus Pony or whatever. I don't know. Original drawing. I don't know. But other than that, besides all that mess, um, let me talk about another thing really fast. Now let's talk about the male version of this shit. This guy named something Winko Smith or whatever. I don't know. He was the one that talked about this shit. And he said that um, it's a creepypasta thing too. It's probably fake as fuck. 99% of the time it will be. What's it called? The name of the guy version now. Now, the first one was supposed to be his name was, um, there it is, Brandon Blake. He was supposed to be Fluttershy. Same story goes for him because they didn't want the parents, like, parents didn't want him taking care of the animals, et cetera, et cetera. Slit the wrists and he died and shit. I think he choked himself. I don't know. 
Second one was supposed to be his name is Trevor Walters. Supposed to be um, <clears throat> same with the rarity. You know, he wanted to be Assassin's Iron Dare to save his gay and homosexual, and he snapped his neck. Same thing. Third one was um, what's it called? I forgot what his name. I think his name was Owen Lenny or something like that. Owen Lenny, not Owen Wilson, but the other dude. His name was. He was supposed to be the inspiration. Rainbow Dash was a big football player, basketball player, you know, celebrity jock or whatever like that. And then that one day he ended up um, having a little brother. Same thing that happened to the female one, supposedly. I'm not saying it's official. And then he ends up dying of a heart attack or cardiac arrest, and boom, he's just gone. And um, number four, it's supposed to be um, <clears throat> the male version for Applejack. His name was supposed to be Court Foster. That's the inspiration for Applejack, or whatever, supposedly. Don't say that I'm wrong or nothing, I'm just saying. But besides all that, you know, um, yeah, he ends up getting died. He's got his whole body, he said he gets mutilated, gets cut into pieces and shit when he gets um, ran over by a tractor, supposedly. And the last two, argumentatively, these last two, is, um, what's it called? Um, Raven Black? I think this one, Raymond Blackwell, or Blackwell. He's supposed to be the inspiration for Twilight Spark, but he ended up getting all smart. Ends up killing himself after he gets done with his exam. So same story there. And then the last one, Pinkie Pie. He made his a little bit crazier, the male version. I don't know why. He took extra antidepressants. He dressed up in like pink and red crazy psycho clothes, kind of like the Riddler or something. And he made him cuss and use profanity and shit like that. And then the last one, at least after that, he makes the same ending story for him. He gets sent to the same side and jumps off the roof and kills himself. Gets skull cracked, dies instantly, etc. And fortunately, this shit was for real. It does suck. But at the same time, most of it's probably going to be fake. Has nothing to do at all with the freaking story. So Peg's pulling like Pinkie Pie, whatever, like I just showed. It has a little bit of a creepier version of that shit, because all their eyes are, s like, stabbed out of their fucking heads. <laughs> I don't know. But other than that, like I always say, um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And uh, peace out, Rosewoman, Bronies, and Peg Sisters especially. Hope you guys like this. If you didn't, it's all good, you know? It's understandable. Um, yeah, and like I always say, have a good day, have a good night, wherever you're at around the world. Um, peace out, take care later, and, um, yeah, and like I always say, don't drink, smoke weed at the same time, and don't do anything right. Because happy Friday, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Stay safe, peace out, laters, and um, goodbye. See you around.